Hello. My name is Adam Bean and today I would like to use uh, NetBeans, plain vanilla NetBeans for Quarkus development and see how it works. So first I would like to start with the stock uh, Quarkus plugin to create a Quarkus project. And um, then I would like to use the Airhex group ID, it does matter. And QNB is the artifact ID, query, uh, query Quarkus NetBeans. This should be the name of the project. And then uh, I would like to have a REST resource with this endpoint and then just switch to QNB and I would like to optimize the <laughs> tests. Um, so, and then launch the project, uh, Quarkus dev. Okay, now um, it, Quarkus should start in the development mode and now let's launch NetBeans and try to open the project. So NetBeans and uh, Firefox. Now let's use two browsers and uh, NetBeans already loaded the project because um, what I did is it is mapped to a folder called junk. So if I just open that, it will immediately, NetBeans will try you know, to load all the Maven project from the folder and there's only one QNB. So that's the magic behind. And yeah, now let's reorganize the stuff. So I would look like to use it like that. And um, Quarkus should already run so i will try just to see whether it is working so there's the quarkus and uh hello is the endpoint so now with the uh hello 2 hello 2 seems to work so of course hello 3 will work as well so now but what i would like to do is to add uh, some uh micro profile apis like for instance matrix and this is no more that easy because Quarkus requires you to add all the dependencies and uh, we don't need rest assured for sure. <laughs> and uh, now what uh, we can do, I can just add, for instance, uh, this is most of the micro profile APIs are behind small RI. So I need small RI and uh, metrics, for instance. And now I should be immediately able to add the the, uh, for instance, let's say counted uh, annotation. And uh, so, and now I can just um, try with uh, matrix and application and already see the counter, which is true. So this is the counter and maybe it is easier to open both 8080 slash hello. So do it again. Then I would like to switch the counter and you see it was invoked three times. So now, of course, the standard development is also easy. I can just create a greeter and the greeter needs an annotation in Quarkus case. So I would like to use the dependent and then just say uh, uh, public string uh, hello and just add the injected hello that we see there's a difference and I can just use the injection here at uh, inject and then uh, greeter greeter and just go with this greeter dot hello Okay, and with that, I should see injected hello, which also works. So now, um, of course, I could add more and more uh, annotations or, uh, for instance, uh, just what about JSON B? So let's try to create a class called uh, message. And this class uh, has um, a content. And I can just immediately create a constructor. The constructor with content and then expose the class here via JSON B. So I have to tell, please use application JSON. Please return the hello class, which is, uh, uh, sorry, message, message, and then say new message, new message. So, and now uh, it won't work because if I will try that, it's see, and there's no serializer for that, which is true because we need another extension. And uh, and this this one, 
the name is uh, Quarkus uh, Rest E Z and Jason B. And uh, so now it is included. By the way, you don't have to do this this way. What you can also do is you can add, you can add just uh, or you can search for the artifacts, for instance, here. Control space and you, you will list all the Quarkus extensions. So if you don't know the extension, you can just search for it. So um, let's see. So this still don't, doesn't work. And the reason being is uh, usually you have to say accept application JSON localhost 8080 slash hello. And uh, I think we have to restart Quarkus for this, uh, this is for the addition of the JSONB extension, but now it is working and is also working here. So um, this is the development experience with Quarkus. So the last thing we can do, so typical micro profile, we can actually add uh, here a, a message and say like, NetBeans rocks, and then in hello resource, just inject that uh, string, which is message, and um, say, I would like to inject that with inject, and uh, we need config property. And we don't need extension for that because Quarkus also uses con uh, microprofile config internally, so it's just there, config uh, property. And uh, we only need the name, so not default name rather than the name. So just try the name was message, otherwise it's going to be fully qualified name. And then we can just say this message plus space that. So, and with that, we should see, so NetBeans rocks injected hello. So I would say the developer experience with NetBeans and Corcus is uh, um, fairly good, uh, NetBeans, um, understands Maven out of the box and, and Quarkus is just a Maven project, so they are working well together. And especially for larger projects, NetBeans is still a nice option, Apache NetBeans. This was the Apache NetBeans 12.1. So thank you for watching. See you at upcoming online workshop, Airhex Live. So we have uh, Quarkus, micro frontends, and even events and Kafka workshops in the pipeline. So, and of course, online conferences and uh, don't forget Airhex TV. So thank you and bye.